But we start with this alarming video of a VTA bus driver, the left side of your screen there, violently attacking a passenger. This is on El Camino Real in Mountain View. The video obtained by our investigative units. Now, we recently received that surveillance video through public records request. But what prompted the driver to attack a passenger? The driver, through a family member, says he was verbally provoked. Here's investigative reporter Candace Wynn. 11 surveillance cameras capture different angles in and around VTA bus 8331. It's Monday, July 25th last year, just after 5 a.m. Veteran VTA operator Aaron Terry is at the wheel, heading southbound on El Camino Real in Mountain View. Several riders are on board, including this man in the hoodie. At 5.15, the passenger pulls the cord to stop the bus. He gets up and walks towards the front. The ambient bus audio is loud, so it's hard to make out. But it seems the passenger tells the driver to pull over. Seconds later, Aaron Terry slows down by a bus stop. The men exchange words, but the camera doesn't clearly pick it up. The door does not open for the passenger, and Terry keeps driving only to stop again down the street, where this time the doors open and the man gets out. Terry starts to drive off again, but quickly stops again. With other riders on board, he gets out and goes after the passenger. There's no audio, but the cameras capture a brief face-to-face -face interaction before the bus driver follows the man into the street. Terry appears to square up while the man tries to back away, now into the middle of El Camino Real with a car passing by. Then this happens. All while other passengers watch from the bus. We showed this video to Eugene Bradley, the CEO of Silicon Valley Transit Users, a public transit advocacy and watchdog group that mostly monitors VTA. Just wow. Why? How come the driver just didn't simply let the passenger off and drive away? I don't care how stressed you are. We're all under stress. It does not give you the excuse to leave a bus with passengers on it to go in an altercation with a passenger. We reached out to the driver, Aaron Terry. Through a family member, he told us he has no comment. And after 22 years, he's no longer employed because of a belligerent drunk who affected him that day. A separate source close to VTA's investigation told us the passenger used racial slurs. What the driver should have done at that point should have at least contacted his supervisor, let them know what was happening, and at least get law enforcement involved. VTA declined our interview request, but said this is an ongoing personnel action. A spokesperson wouldn't elaborate on what that means or if anyone contacted law enforcement. The sheriff's office says it has no report on file. In a statement, VTA said it was made aware of the incident through a complaint and took swift action. The driver did not return to work after the incident and was terminated on August 19th, less than a month later. That's a proper response right there. The driver's union says it does not support the behavior, but also asks for the public's support not to condone racial slurs, verbal assaults, or physical assaults operators have to endure on a daily basis. We asked VTA if this driver faced disciplinary action in the past. A spokesperson declined to comment, and the agency's records unit said those files are not releasable. With the investigative unit, Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.